17. That was a phrase used at the end of a TV show, hosted by Julia Childs. In 1963, Julia Childs was a pioneer in TV cooking shows. She introduced America to the art of French cooking. She was a character to watch as she demonstrated her personal tips and techniques for preparing food. Now today, I'm going to demonstrate my techniques for using these slicing devices. First, we have the egg slicer. Next, we have the tomato slicer. <laughs> and finally, the banana slicer. <laughs> Let's begin with the egg slicer. We begin with a hard boiled egg. The shell has already been removed. Place it in the slicer and line it up so that horizontal slices will be made. We press down the slicing bar gently but firmly and guide the egg through with your other hand. There you have it. Perfect. Uniform <laughs> slices. <Yeah>. Magnificent. <laughs> Perfectly sliced. <laughs> Uniform slices. Now, wouldn't these look pretty on top of a bowl of potato salad? Or put it on an open-faced sandwich. Wouldn't that look pretty? But wait, that's not all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that again. Take the hard-boiled egg, put it in the slicer, press down the slicing bar. Now, I want you to see, pick up the sliced egg and reposition it by 90 degrees, place it back in the slicer, press down the slicing bar, guide it through with your hand, and there. Wow, big salad sandwich. Okay, right on. You're ready to make, you're ready to make egg salad. No more chop, 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 chopping with your knife. You can do this in two slicing motions. You're ready to go. What a time saver that is. <laughs> All right. Now let's look at the tomato slicer. This tool is very simple. It's been around since the 1950s. Each delicate wire has a serrated edge, which cleanly penetrates the skin of a tomato. It's easy to use. Take our tomato, and you begin slicing motion back and forth, just as you would if you're using a knife. The only difference is with a knife you get one slice. When you do the same motion here, you're going to get multiple slices. Now the amount of pressure that you apply depends on the ripeness of the tomato. If you get one that's overly ripe, you may be in for a squishy surprise. <laughs> tomato sauce. But don't worry. Steve, you're ahead of me. <laughs> but you can just always toss that in a tomato sauce right on. Sometimes I like to pull it over like this to com complete the, the process. And it depends on your tomato. Sometimes you might get one that needs a little help. You might need to practice this a little bit. But actually, the practice pays off because the rewards are great. <laughs> and you will enjoy that when you are grilling hamburgers and you want to put a big slice of tomato on the other bun. How pretty would that look? Okay, moving right along, let's finally look at the banana slicer. How many of you have one of these? <laughs> well, I purchased this a year ago last Christmas. Someone in my house, who shall remain nameless, <laughs> when slicing a banana, it's a time-consuming, monumental task. <laughs> it looks something like this. One slice, two slices, three slices, and so on. Now when I slice a banana, it looks like this. No problem. Granted, I don't have uniform 
corn slices. <laughs> but who cares? We don't usually display banana slices because they turn brown. So, the thing about it is, though, I could have used one of these when my children were growing up. My kids liked a sandwich that was a favorite, made famous by Elvis. Peanut butter and bananas. Remember that? Really tasty. And when I would serve these to my two kids, invariably they would lift up the top slice of bread, and the smart one would say, It's got more banana than I do. <laughs> and I would say, No, you each have the same number of slices. And then she would say, But his are thicker than mine. <laughs> I could have used these <laughs> because this will make uniform slices. It's easy to use. Just put your banana in the slicer, press down the slicing bar. There you have it. Perfect slices, all uniform. And that's the important thing to remember about these slicing devices. They produce uniform slices. They save you time, and best of all, they help you create beautiful presentations. Now take a look at these, perfect every time. Now, these are ready to just throw in a fruit salad. Or I like to put them on top of a stack of pancakes and drizzle syrup over. Wouldn't that be great? That's what I do. So today I have demonstrated my usage of slicing devices. And I think no kitchen should be without these because, number one, they save you time, they produce uniform slices, and best of all, they help you create beautiful presentations, such as this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's that? Very nice. Until next time, bon appetit. <laughs>